Are you ready? So, what's going on here? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, this is a uh, an application that we put together to demonstrate a new technology that we invented for uh, Pascal called simultaneous multi projection SMP. Right now, what SMP does is it allows us to um, more efficiently and accurately translate from a three dimensional world to a two dimensional projection, which is what you see on your screen. So, in this picture, you know when you're doing a game or a scene, you actually start with a three dimensional collection of geometry. Mm. This is what most people think of as a vertice data. It's the scene that you're rendering. And you can see that it's totally independent of where I'm looking, right? The scene never changed. Mm. So call that the world geometry. Yep. Now once you have the world established, you need to find a way to get it onto a screen. So that's what this frustrum is yep. telling you. Yeah. It's the projection of these objects yeah. to the two dimensional screen. And that process of doing that translation mm. is called projection. Yep. Okay, now projection is basically this, uh, it's a pretty easy mathematical mm. function when there's one screen. Yep. But the truth is that monitors are changing. They're going to three screens, they're going to VR, the, the displays that you want to view are getting much more complicated. Yep. Now, when you're looking at surround, it's an extremely wide field of mm. view, right? So if you look at this right here, yeah. already the pixels out on the side are way far so away. Expanded, the yeah. Way out. So what people do is they mm. bend the monitor. Now, if you think about it, yeah. when you bend your monitor, you're looking at a distorted image now mm. because yes. the monitor has been rotated towards yes. your head. Right, the front's still fine, but the left and right are mm. now at the wrong perspective. Okay, so a better way to do this, mm. rather than just sort of bending the flat projection, yeah. would be to call, would be to create separate projections mm. for each of these monitors. Now we can do that mm. and show you what you should look like. So this is now showing you how SMP technology will work. Mm -hmm. And you can already see how dramatically it's increased your field of view. Yes. This has been in the scene, but mm. you couldn't see it in the field. Oh, okay. So it's pretty dramatically wider. Here's, uh, again, this is what it used to look like, where you brought in the sides, mm. and this is what it looks like now. Yes. Okay, very clear? Yes, clear. Okay, so that's the application of surround and you can see it really does mm. look like a virtual window yes. into your uh, world space and now in this view i can actually turn off the world and you can kind of come in and really play with the window you kind of sort of uh, out, yeah send it in and you can kind of get that real sense of just how mm. big it's getting right yes pretty cool yes cool okay so the other thing i want to do is show you uh the next use case that's very important for smp which is vr obviously right? now in vr it's a similar problem, only now you have two eyes. So you're doing a viewport for the left eye, yep. and you're doing a view for the right eye. And they're actually at different locations. So normally, the way VR works is you rent, you kind of position the world yep. for the left eye, and then you do a projection for the left eye. Yep. And then you position the world again for the right eye, and you project the right eye. Yep. And you can think of that as, hey, that's two times through the jump. Yes. Right? What you need two rendering, rendering pipeline, yes. It's just you, two yeah. entire trips to yes, the yes, yes, pipeline. Yes. Now, with our new technology mm. in SMP called single pass stereo, yes. we actually can create the world one time mm. because that, remember, that geometry and that, that model is totally independent of the view. Yes. So if we can create that world one time mm. and then project it for the left eye mm. and project it for the right eye in yes. a single pass, that is a dramatic savings. It's a 50% performance boost yes. for stereo. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what's happening first in uh, SMP. Now the second thing that's going on is obviously in mm. VR there's a lens, right? Yes. And if you look at a lens, this is actually simulating what's going on in mm. the headset. The front panel represents the uh, front of the display in the yes. headset. Mm. It goes through a lens and gets warped to this rear picture. Yes. This is representing what your eye sees. Okay? Mm. Now if you zoom in, what's already interesting about this, I'm going to kind of move down here a little bit. Okay. So now if I just move this view around, I want you to notice sort of that shape gets wildly distorted yeah, when distorted it gets to the then, end, yeah. right? And that's happening because there's a lens mm. that you're looking at the image through. Yes. Like that lens is mm. actually what's bending the light to make it look so bad. Yeah. So if I come up, right, I'm just going to rotate up a little bit. You can see that the image on the original display is square. Yeah. It's warped in the image that's on your eye because of the lens. Yes. 
So to try to correct for that, yeah, what we do yes. is, and what Oculus mm -hmm. actually does, or HTC, mm -hmm. is they run what's called a lens correction filter. Yes. And what it does yeah. is it takes pixels yes. from the outside and bends them in. The inverse distortion. It's yes. the inverse, yes. inverse distortion, right? Yes. So let's go look at that lens again. Mm -hmm. So now as we look into the lens, you can see that the shapes are now straight. Yes. So even as I move around, the, the image that you see on your eye is straight. If I look at the... Um, the actual field mm. you can see now when I move around, the rendered image mm. is all distorted. It's yep. the opposite of the lens. Mm. Okay? Yes. Now, when you're looking at this picture, the outside represents mm. wasted work. Yes. Because you're rendering mm. this large surface and then mm. you're running a shader to compress yes. it. It would be far, far better if you didn't have to do that. And that's what SMP does. So by doing what we call lens match shading, we can reduce the work and get rid of all this extra rendering. Okay, so let me show you how that works. Yes. Turn the filter off, I'm gonna bring the world back, I'm gonna back up, and I'm gonna take a look at it. So instead of doing what we did before, now we're going to modify the projections. Ah, uh, yes. So if you look at this, just like we did for surround, mm, mm, mm. we're now warping or we're, we're transforming the projection mm. in this projection space. It has pulse, uh, the rectangle, a four rectangle. Yes, yes. it's four planes yes. that are oriented mm. roughly to match the yes. geometry oh, of the oh. Okay, so if I put the lens back, you can already see, mm. hey, this is now mm. very close mm. to the distortion that's mm. required mm. to match the lens. Mm. So the idea is instead of rendering um, a, a flat image and then bending it, yes. let's render to a uh, transformed yes. projection mm. that matches what the lens needs to do. So I'm going to get rid of the lens, I'm going to get rid of the world, uh, and zoom in one more time. So when you look at this um, view, here. That is the uh, area, that's the performance savings mm -hmm. over the traditional approach. So if you look at the area yes. of this uh, shrunken yep. octagon, mm -hmm. that's pixel shader savings. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Okay.